everyone, Melody here. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about my hair because I went on Instagram, I asked you what you wanted to know about me. Um, and almost all of the questions were actually about my hair, which I found really interesting. Uh, so that's what we're talking about today. And it's probably gonna be a two-part video. Today I wanna share with you uh, the products that I use in my hair on a daily basis. And then in a separate video, I'll be talking about how to actually maintain your hair, tips and tricks that I have for growing out your hair fast and making sure that they're healthy as they grow out. I love talking about hair. So it made me very happy to find out that y'all are interested in hearing about that too. But before we jump into the hair products, I want to show you, of course, the scent of the month from Dossier. This one is my brand new favorite, and I'm not joking. I have been using this every single day, and I actually do use this kind of in my hair because if it gets absorbed into my hair, it really lasts longer. Um, so I do like two sprays in the air and like flick my hair up into it, and it lasts the entire day. Surprisingly, this is not a floral scent. I've shared with you like all kinds of floral scents. But this one is an ambery scent. It's ambery saffron and it's, oh my goodness, it's just amazing. It smells really grown up for me and I think it's time. I think it's time to do more than just flowers. <laughs> I'm serious guys, this is my new favorite um, and I wanted to pull it up here for you to help you um, kind of imagine what it smells like. The main notes of this perfume are saffron, orange blossom, cedarwood, and amber. So it's a warm kind of scent. And this one was inspired by a very long name that I cannot pronounce, so I'm not even gonna try, but it retails for $300. $300. Do you know how much baby stuff I could buy with $300? This goes for $49 and that is a steal if you're asking me, especially if you use my code, it's down below. The link is as well, so you can get an extra percentage off of your first purchase. It's totally worth it guys. It is so worth it, not just for the amazing smells and the great bargain you're getting, but also you're not getting all those chemicals absorbed into your body because they don't even put them in here. There are no harsh chemicals in this that are gonna harm you, give you headaches, give you breakouts none of that has happened to me and I have very sensitive skin and I'm very prone to headaches that come from smelling something so these are my friend and I know they're gonna be yours too they have so many scents for both guys and girls and I know you're gonna find something you love so go check them out but continuing on with the conversation of products that I use that don't have harsh chemicals this is what I want to be stressing today um, be aware of the products that you're using every day. What you're putting on your body, what you're putting in your body is super important with how you feel and how much energy you have and what skin things you're dealing with. Sometimes we'll have lots of breakouts, eczema, psoriasis, things that we're using and we're not even aware that that's what is contributing to that. A lot of times the things can be hormonal, but also by using products that have harsh chemicals, parabens, sulfates, stuff like that, that can have a part and our hormones being crazy. All of it plays a part. And once we become aware of those things, we can take action in what companies we buy from and what products we decide to use. So these I would highly recommend. I've been using these for months now and I haven't had any issues with them. I have tried so many different brands and I'm still navigating these waters. You know, I'm my hair changes with different seasons. My hair changes with um, if I'm pregnant or if I'm not pregnant or if I'm postpartum, all of these things. These products right here have grown to be my friend over the past few months. Now do remember, I'm not sharing my tips and tricks today. I'm just sharing products with you, but I might throw in little pieces here and there to get you excited for the next video. Let me just show you my hair. So, it is long, it is brown, it has never been dyed never been short other than when I was a baby. I think I cut it to like here when I was like 14 and now it's like double that length. So let me just show you. So that's my back. So as you can see, it is very, very long. One of the questions I actually got was from one of my best friends and she said, would you ever consider cutting your hair? Um, she knows the answer to this and no, I'm not really allowed 
because my husband loves my hair too much and so I keep it long for him and I like my hair long I like feeling like a mermaid so the first thing I'd like to show you is my shampoo and conditioner I wash my hair at least every other day I have really oily hair so I try to stretch it out as long as I can and that ends up being two to three days I know some people go a full week without washing their hair and props to you I wish I could be like that I'm trying to train my hair but this is what I do right now this is what I use right now it could change but I've been using this for like four or five months now Kristen S is available at Target I'll do a separate shot so that you can see these up close but these are both available at Target the shampoo and conditioner this is the larger set because I like to save money and when you buy the bigger product you save more money they do have the smaller ounces available for purchase if you just want to try it out and see how your hair responds to it but this one is the one signature shampoo and conditioner by Kristen S this is cruelty free color and keratin safe vegan free of sulfates, parabens, and phthalates. So that is very important to me and I try to find all the products that my hair responds well to that have that kind of description. So that's my shampoo and conditioner. It smells really nice but sometimes I know people have um, reactions to fragrances. They do have a fragrance free version if that is something that you would need. Just check them out at Target. I'll have it linked down below. The next product is something I use in between the wash days if things just get crazy and I don't have time to wash my hair and it's just getting real oily. Um, I use Kristen S's dry shampoo and this one is actually made for brunettes. Um, it has a little bit of a color tint to it so that um, if you have dark hair like me and you've used just a normal dry shampoo, you know this issue of just like spray it on and it's just like white. And even if you rub it in, it's just white. You're not going to have that problem with this one because of the tint to it. And this one as well, same description, cruelty free, color keratin safe, vegan, free of sulfates, parabens, and phthalates. So again, being aware of those harsh chemicals and what they can do to our bodies and straying away from them. So I like to use that, especially for conferences. I'll wake up and it'll be time to go, and so just spray and we're good. That's all we need. Now sometimes my hair will be oily on the top and then dry on the bottom because of the length of it, of course. So I like to use this argan oil. I've had this for a couple years now, actually. And that's how long it lasts, and it is continually helping my hair. I'll just do a little, it's like a little dropper. So I'll just do like a tiny, tiny amount. In my hand, rub them together, and then only put it on the ends. So I would just take it and rub it right in the ends here. Um, just kind of brushing my fingers through. I don't really brush my hair that much except for when I get out of the shower. So from then on, I just use my fingers and it works wonders. It'll just bring those straggly ends together. And it's not because I need my hair cut every month. It's just the length of my hair. Even when I get my hair cut, I'll still have straggly ends. So it's just what happens. Now, when it comes to heat, I go back and forth. I do not blow dry my hair. I only air dry it. This is my hair that has air dried um, after a shower this morning. This is the natural texture of my hair. It's a little wavy, um, and if I would cut it, it would be a lot more wavy. My ends are starting to really bring out the normal texture of my hair. I'm trying to embrace that, um, but there are some days that I want completely straight hair and I make sure to use a good heat protectant for that. This one is not your mother's, <laughs> not your mother's all eyes on me 10 in 1 hair protector and this one is also no sulfates, no dyes, no parabens, no phthalates. Now this one I wouldn't recommend using it just as a detangler or just to add shine because it does make my hair feel a little, uh, a little gummy almost. I'm not sure how to describe it. But it would just kind of make it feel kind of eh, as you pull your hair through. You know what I mean? Like when it's just kind of stuck together, that's what it makes it feel like. But once I apply heat to it, that goes away and the shine shows up. So I only use it as a heat protectant and it does a really good job doing that. So I would highly recommend this for a heat protectant and only a heat protectant. But it does a really great job doing that. The next and final product I want to show you is something that I just started using a couple weeks ago um, because you've heard me talk about this, but you'll even see in my videos these random little 
this is all baby hairs okay this wasn't here earlier this year um because i had i was kind of going bald on my edges here from postpartum my body responding to the trauma it went through for the childbirth i started changing up my diet and that really changed things for me and i'll talk about that in the other video of my hair care tips and tricks of just how your diet really influences what happens here now that i've changed all those things and i'm taking my vitamins and stuff these are insane like all surrounding my face all the baby hairs are like just growing 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 and they don't want to grow in a pretty way they just want to like stick out and so i thought to myself well i'm just gonna start laying my edges and i got this cream called curl piece um, natural care for kids kinks coils and curls smoothing ponytail and edge control finishes and holds it has changed everything it's changed everything. It makes me so happy to be able to pull my hair back and not have all these little horns like sticking out of my forehead. I, and as much as I would like try to comb it back and everything, it just wouldn't happen. I try to swirl it over and it wouldn't work with me. But this, I put it on like a little toothbrush and I'll just zoom back and it looks amazing. It looks so good, guys. And it does not leave like a white residue. It doesn't, if you use a lot of it, of course it's gonna make it look kind of, kind of oily, um, but not initially. Only if you just like continuously keep applying it throughout the day. But again, contains no sulfates, parabens, mineral oil, petrolatum, phthalates, or animal testing. So, really great product. And I only use like the teeniest, tiniest bit. Oh, there's one of my hairs right there. <laughs> I got this from Target as well. It was like $4 for this whole thing. And I, this is gonna last me forever. It does the trick. It's amazing. It smooths everything, keeps it down the whole day. Well, if I'm dancing, cause I'm, I've started dancing, <laughs> new side of me. Um, I've started dancing. We're having this really beautiful dance presentation at our conference this weekend. It's really powerful. And there's lots of like, just almost like head banging in it guys. And, um, but, at the end of that, it, the baby hairs will start to rise, but it's not even like they're back. It's just like they'll start to lift up. So it's amazing. It's not gonna like make your hair crunchy or hard at the top there the way gel does. It just lays your hair down. And I've, okay, I've also really been into laying all of it back, like slicking it back almost like JLo into like a low bun. Um, I've been watching Selena and <laughs> I, my love for Selena has come back um, and just that whole hairstyle I'm really coming into loving again and my husband loves it too so that's always a plus but if you are trying to figure out what to do with your baby hairs your flyaways anything of that sort this is what you need this right here I'm not joking this is what you need and um, also, I was kind of concerned about what might happen on my forehead because I've used products before where I would apply it here and then I would start breaking out. Nothing. Nothing has happened. I truly believe it's because it doesn't have those things that are harmful in here. Those are the products that I use on a daily basis. Somebody wanted to come and join us from her nap. Her hair is a little crazy. Speaking of hair, hers is growing and starting to get crazy, as you can see, um, especially after naps. But it's finally growing. So that pretty much concludes this video. It might be surprising that I only use like six products, really just four of those every week, but that's in full honesty, that is what I use. Um, it really comes down to what we eat and what are in those products that we're using that give us the hair that we're looking for. I just want to show you guys how cute she's being. Lower, there she is. Hey. Cheese? You mean silly? You gonna eat your snack? All right, if you found this video helpful in any way, please let me know by liking this video. You have no idea how much just a like helps my channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so right now and make sure to ring the bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. But again, that's all for today. I need to go take care of this little one and play with her. 
So we will see you next week on Wednesday. But till then, have a lovely, blessed, wonderful Bye. week. Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs>